I'm a big fan of entrepreneurship. I grew up in a family of entrepreneurs and devoted business owners. Hey, I'm Will Lopez, head ambassador at Gusto. If you're scaling and growing a company, hiring international contractors allows you to move quickly and confidently because you have a team behind you. At the same time, there are a few pros and cons to using international contractors. Let's start with the pros. International contractors provide good local knowledge if you're trying to break into new areas, are self-sufficient with limited need for onboarding or training. They're so good at working independently. They normally supply their own office space and equipment. And using that kind of help helps you stay cost-effective for short-term engagements. Now, I know what you're thinking. Thanks, Will, for the list of pros. Now hit me. What are the cons to using international contractors? When you're working with international contractors, their attention may be divided across several customers. It's not 100% on you, and that's fine. You must have contracts in place that are localized to the country in which they're working from. They have little say in or control over how they do the job. And if you're going to make your contractor an official employee, you need to set up a business entity in their country or find an employer of record to hire those employees on your behalf. Being an employer of people, whether it's employees or international contractors, is important and responsible work, but it can also leave you seeking support. And that's where we come in. Use Gusto to hire, pay, and manage all your international contractors easily.